because we're live. It always Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Oh, someone's. Is that me, actually? No, no, that's me. Okay. All right. Hopefully. I'm going to watch an ad. Mine's still not saying it is, but. Put that coin. There we go. Now it's there. I heard that. Oh, my God. <laughs> but Lacey, when I was watching your yellow video, I got an ad for yellow mustard. <laughs> and it was like all yeah. about being yellow. And I was like, this is so weird. They know. I thought it was really funny. I didn't even say yellow in the title or anything. Just the yellow heart emojis. <laughs> yeah. They're watching everywhere. Um, we can go around and introduce everybody. This is for the Historical Hellions Book Club. Start with, oh, it's always the opposite. Samantha. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Are we giving our ratings or just introducing yourself? Um, you can give your rating. Okay. Hello, hello, everyone. I'm Samantha from Books with Samantha. And I loved this book. I freaking adored it. I gave it five stars, which I'm so excited about because our last two months were not great. So this was fantastic. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead, Lisa. Me? Okay. Hi, guys. My name is Lisa. Just like the author, Lisa Claypas, but not as amazing as her. Um, I like this book. This is a reread of mine. I gave it a four stars back in 2015, and I was debating whether or not I should give it a four and a half now or a five. But I think I'm staying committed to the four and a half stars. So uh, I enjoyed it a bit more the second time around. Uh, well, I'm Lacey, Lacey Book Lovers. And this is also my second time reading this book. I gave it four stars uh, the first time. And I'm giving it another four stars the second time. On your Goodreads, it said three and a half. Yeah, on your oh, Goodreads, it said three and a half. Yeah, I stopped you. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering <laughs> about that because I swear I gave it three stars the first time, but then I saw the four star rating. I didn't even look at my review. <laughs> oh, but there I did. I stopped you. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. I liked it the second time better than. I gave it five stars. I really liked it. But I also think because we've been reading some, I mean, like, Shanna was good and I, like, grew to love it, but, like, once and always was not good so i'm happy to have and this was written in 93 which is the year i was born so wow. yeah it's an older historical i was surprised by how easy it read it still yeah. felt like lisa claypas e today mm -hmm. is this the earliest that you've read from her i think so i think so, I think so. yeah but it, many, it, it felt really similar to all of her other books it was yeah. it wasn't that different for like her writing style to, didn't change that much. Mm -hmm. I think this one ha was more interesting than her um, latest okay. books that she published like in the last couple years. Like this one had more action and had more characters that came from different backgrounds and had more conflict. So I think this one was the the reason why I fell in love with Lisa Claypas was her older works, not her present works, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah, Robin was, the Robin Hood is very like not gritty, you know, compared yeah. to her earlier stuff like this series her bow street runners lots of yeah action like you said yeah i have really good luck with lisa clepas i don't think i've given any of her books lower than like a four star like i like all of her books or the ones that i've read at least i haven't read all of them i know she has a very but also really dramatic it was dramatic Staying dramatic like it's a bad thing <laughs> <laughs> that's why i like it i want yeah me too i need like a telenovela like i just want it mm -hmm. want the drama yes i agree I was very shocked by, because this was 93, so thinking mm -hmm. the time that all the other ones we read, she was adamant that she didn't want him to tell her she couldn't do things, and he agreed. He was like, I'm not trying to change you, but it's like, that was a common theme in, like, the older historicals, well, like, the woman was, like, the damsel in distress, she was just very much, like, the girly girl, and I feel like the themes in this are what we've recently been reading, so I liked how it had more modern themes. She was a I lot mean, it's still in the 90s. It's not like, like Shanna era. But it's early 90s. Yeah. So, yeah. Close to the 80s, I feel like that. Shanna yeah. was 70. Was Shanna in the 70s? Yeah, Shanna was 77, I think. It, it's the earliest one that we've read. All of the other ones we've picked have been in the 90s. Yeah. I like but how yeah, she was like. Go ahead, Lisa. What are you saying? Oh. I just said I liked how she was so different from all the historical romances that, you know, you'll see back in the olden times. Like, you know, she's not 
a virgin when we meet her mm -hmm. and she is actually a mother. So I think that was really cool. Yeah, I didn't, expect that. I didn't know that going in. It was kind of surprising, yeah. but I loved it so much. Have, I think has anyone that, read the sequel? No. no. So, by accident, I started 15 minutes of it on audiobook by accident. And I was like, wait, I, this isn't the book. <laughs> yeah, this isn't the <laughs> book we were reading this one. The and then I quickly okay. exited and went to the, went to the physical copy. I can like, imagine <laughs> if you came with yeah, the I showed it with the wrong book, you know, not surprising. <laughs> not surprising for me. <laughs> Uh, Samantha and I were talking though before um, they talked in the beginning about Derek like so familiar familiarly like yeah. it seemed like we should have already known him because he was such so present in the beginning and I was like did we miss is he in other books other I than Black I don't think so oh okay no. it just no, it's it before like, this book yeah it seemed think. like their friendship was already established like we would have automatically known they were friends and who Derek was the, the beginning, I was very confused because I was like, is this Derek's book? Like, what is going on right now? Yeah, I don't think so. Not that I know of. Um, it's just he does show up or his gambling place does show up in later books. Okay. Um, but, have you read book two? Anybody? Yes. Does he get rid of his accent? Yeah, he does. Okay. Oh, okay. I and mean, like it's really hard to read a book. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sometimes he does like go back into it, um, but yeah, he does fix his accent for At the, the end, most part. He did mm -hmm. then, okay. Yeah, I wondered how that. Was I love that one. That one's five stars for me. It's like everybody's favorite. So yeah. he has a whole day to himself. He's like the holy grail <laughs> yes. hero. Like everybody, yes. loves I him. try to celebrate it. <laughs> Do we know the heroine yet, or is it someone who we haven't been no. introduced to? Okay. Her name's Sarah. Is he trying to get over um, Lily? Lily? Because he likes her. Like, he's, yeah. like, unrequited. Mm -hmm. I think he gets over her pretty quickly in Dreaming of You. Okay. I like how we all have the old version. So, like, everybody picking up the copy is very confused. Oh, yeah. Like, I what? <laughs> I gave the new copies. Yeah, because it has the you didn't want this one since it had the water damage, which it wasn't too bad. <laughs> yeah, I got this yeah. one on like an eBay lot, and yours is so in such good condition. Yeah, they don't show you. Okay, so the the eBay seller is the seller that I showed Lacey one time, where they didn't send any photos at all, like no photos on the lot. And they only listed in description of like who the authors they had, and I forced him to take photos of like the individual like author lot he's like are you sure you're gonna buy it because like, this is a lot of work and i'm like yeah i will and then i hit the jackpot and got all my lisa claypuss older editions for like two dollars usd plus shipping what that's yeah. crazy not your hundred dollar copy though samantha that one i didn't find <laughs> like, so many people ones? started to get it i know i got it crystal got oh, where passion bleed oh she paid a hundred for it no, so I, I think her Instagram posted that someone gave it to her. I didn't pay $100 for it. Let's just say that. Oh, I, I thought you know. paid $100 for it. No, I paid <laughs> $40, which is not any better, but it's not 100 Yeah, mine was 30 I was like, okay, well, I'm snapping this up. Yeah. Mine Natasha, was free, but shipping. Natasha wow. Book Diva found it for like $2 at her used bookstore. Yeah. Wow. I don't know. Oh, yeah, someone else said too. Um, you, I think you sent a screenshot too. Um, yes, yeah, someone, Corey, told, me, someone told me found that their lending library for free, and I was like, who the heck is putting that in their free library? Like people who don't know its value. <laughs> there's probably so many copies sitting in people's basements, like of their grandma or their moms. Yeah. Totally unrelated, totally not about the books. So I have like my Lisa shelf all right here on the very top and it's all like the shirtless guys. And I think I talked about this in one of my videos and my sister was like, why is there so many guys without shirts on? Like, are they always at the beach or something? And I'm like, I like what I like. And when I die, you can resell these and make some money. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'll haunt you if you do, but you know, whatever. Yeah. Oh, did you guys like that Lily has short hair? Yeah. I thought it was really interesting. Yeah, I didn't even realize she had short hair in this cover. I thought it was just like tied up. Yeah, she has short hair in the book. It looks 
I wish yeah. so that Lisa did uh, chest hair on the cover because she mentioned it a couple yeah. times. Lisa then, loves chest hair and her heroes. And I love that. Put it on the cover. I thought it was funny though. It's always funny, like the things, because it's always the mustache they obsess over and <laughs> yeah. every scene. Like and yeah. now it's the chest hair. That is so funny. I went back and checked the cover for sure. She's exactly how I would have man imagined her. The model, like this is how I imagined mm -hmm. Lily. This is not how I imagined Alex though. Alex, right? Yeah. The what did you guys finish this book? Ridiculous. Oh, I found this at my thrift store for like 50 cents. Yeah. The hardcover? No, not the hardcover. Did she find the hardcover? Oh, yeah, the hardcover, my bad, sorry. I was talking about the original. <laughs> Can't read. Once the show came out, it was impossible to find any hardcovers. Yeah. Oh, but I just I, finished this um, an hour ago. I like to wait till the last minute. <laughs> me too. I thought I was yeah, gonna I be like this one a couple hours ago. Me yeah. too. Me I too. read so like 11 at night yesterday that I finished it. When you compare it to like uh, Judith the Big Knot and Kathleen Wittowis, it's so easy to read. It flies by. Yeah. I read it in one sitting. Like I literally just started and finished it in one go. But Shanna freaking took me days <laughs> to finish my book. Like I <laughs> that took me so long. Mm hmm. What did you guys think of the whole missing daughter plot? I loved the missing it. Missing daughter people thought was too dramatic. No, I think, I think it was, was spicy. Like it was interesting. It kept the plot mm -hmm. going. Yeah. yeah, and it felt pretty natural too because it was introduced in the beginning, and mm -hmm. we get a little bit of it throughout the middle, and then the whole thing explodes at the it, end. I was gonna say like back in 2015, I was like, how many years is that? Six years. So. I was 20. I was a young girl. Young. Not introduced <laughs> to themes. Not, you know, wasn't open to the idea that my historical romance heroine was not a virgin and was a mother. Didn't like it. But now I'm like, hell yeah, do it. Do it up. Like everybody, like more <laughs> diversity. Like, you know, I opened my eyes. I learned. So yeah. yeah. I think my problem the first time I read it was with Alex. I just did not love him. I was so annoyed with him and how he was. So judgy of her. Yeah. I feel like it's common though. I read a few like that. I forget what I just read where it's like he just hated her so much because of her reputation. I mean, he literally just calls her a whore, you know? You, and a bitch. He says the B times. word. He's the B word a lot, even when they're together already. I didn't like, what, like are we, that. what are we doing? What are we doing? <laughs> like, yeah. Well, like before I like, okay, fine. But like when they were actually together and married. Like, yeah. <laughs> call your wife that. Yeah. But I did appreciate that he was the first to fall in love and acknowledge that. I'll just say that. We don't, we don't see that a lot, especially I in historicals. When mm -hmm. the guy falls first. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I really love their banter. The thing is, is I gave it a five stars, but I'm like an emotional reader. So if I am just like having a good time, I will rate it highly. So I can acknowledge some of like the flaws, but then also in the same token, I'm just like, nah, it's a five star read. It made me happy. <laughs> I think yeah. it was good that she made sure to say, oh, she's not like traumatized from what happens. So we know nothing too bad happened to her while she was kidnapped because you know what could have happened to that child yeah yeah being kidnapped so yeah. yes yeah i didn't even think about that because i thought like the dad just was, was keeping her that it wasn't this whole like child abduction Slavery. ring i had no <laughs> yeah. idea what it was yeah that wouldn't be too fun but like the epilogue was the best part with him, Alex and the daughter. Like that mm -hmm. just made me so freaking happy. <laughs> yes. It was cute. Um, now I forget what I was going to say. What was I going to bring up? Did you guys like the side romance? I didn't really care for like the sister too much. She was kind of boring. Yeah, she was just in and out. Like. Okay. Oh, I didn't even consider it a side romance. I was just like, okay, whatever. You're just in the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't really know her yeah. sister was Zachary. Was that his name, Zachary? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now he had proposed to her first. She oh. does do like a really good secondary romance in Again the Magic. I know Samantha read it and loves it. That oh. one has an actual second romance. 
with a sister and it's so good. That's I was annoyed by that. that. Wait, you said you didn't like the second of romance though, huh, Jess? I prefer the book just to have one romance. Okay. So I'm like, okay, but it like get me back to the main couple. Like you guys are fine, but I'm here for the main couple. <laughs> Apparently it was a thing with older books. Really? Um, older historical romances. Yeah, there was this Twitter thread talking about how um, sometimes people would be more invested in the secondary romance and kind of like um, the Destiny series by Beverly Jenkins. Like the oh, mom who oh, had her a secondary romance through all three books. Yeah. Kind of like that. That's true. It's the only Lisa Clayton's book you haven't liked. <laughs> what didn't you like about it? Well, I know uh, I saw Tori give it three stars. I will say it's one of my least favorites from her. Really? Oh my god. The bear. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I wanted them to keep it and like have it in like their backyard or something. <laughs> but like how reckless that she was just like in the middle of the night by herself. That was the only irritating thing to me was she, I felt like she was so reckless when she was looking for her daughter, which I mean she was desperate. But I'm like, dude, you want to be alive to see your daughter. Like you're gonna get yourself killed. The bear was my favorite subplot. <laughs> well, oh, I also loved Henry. Yep. I wanted mm -hmm. more of him because he was so adorable and Alex was so protective of him. But he didn't have a lot to do with the plot. And then I was like, oh, is Henry going to like grow up and we're going to get his? Because it reminded me of um, Jennifer Ashley series. One of them has an older son. Oh, Cameron? Is it Cameron who has a son? And he one of the middle his, middle brothers. He gets his own book though later on. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Ian's son is getting his book later this year. Really? I told you this, Jess. Oh well, I don't remember. That's exciting. I think it's fun when like the children grow up and have books. It was. I mean, like, yes, it was dramatic. <laughs> yeah. I want a telenovela. Yeah, um, people either love the drama or they hate it. Oh, then, Burton, oh, the butler, I loved how Alex was just so obsessed with him. <laughs> because he was so loyal to her. Yeah. Oh, this was fun. I love how she was in jeans. Yeah. Do you, okay, I don't, I mean, like, it's, he's 12 and this is back then. Did he actually, like, experience the women at the, I don't um, think so. <laughs> I was like, can you please? I mean, I'm sure they were like hanging out. Okay. Is he like but, joked about it? And I was like, is he 12 and just like trying to look cool? Because I was like, please don't. He's 12. <laughs> that. No. I'm sure he probably saw more okay. things, but nothing ever actually happened. Okay. I thought this was funny. <laughs> <laughs> but I see why you might not like it. Yeah. And then actually tie him up to the bed. <laughs> yeah. I like that scene where he was tied to the bed. Mm -hmm. I was like, nice. <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> it was spicy. Mm -hmm. And I it reminded me. Sorry, go ahead, Samantha. No, I just said I like that scene too. Go ahead, Jess. It reminded me of um, Love Always Once, the one we read, how he abducted her. In the beginning, join. Oh, yeah. yeah, even though that was an accident, it's a thing to abduct people in <laughs> historical romances. So, but a side character or the main character? They were the main characters. Yes, yeah. And Joanna yeah. Lindsay's he thought it was his mistress he was abducting, and he abducted her instead. <laughs> yeah. Like teach her a lesson. Yeah, yeah. I think it like it just went with the tone of the book. Yeah. I mean, how else was she was supposed to get his attention? You know, she, she was kicked yeah. out of the house. She had to do something. And true. Henry was more than willing, you know? <laughs> Which was funny. My thing is, like, how did none of the footmen see him? I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too, like, logically. Mm -hmm. Too hard about it. <laughs> <laughs> Let it happen. Let it be. That's how I felt. Okay. Lacey, you read Dial A for aunties. Mm -hmm. 
I loved it, but I'm like, are there no cameras anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> right. Hotels have cameras everywhere. And I was like, just don't think about it. And then it's, yeah. it's so funny and amazing. But yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you just can't take books seriously. It's just for the fun of it. Question them. Yeah. 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 Like my 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 3 a.m. bully romances. Just don't take those seriously. <laughs> this is a good point, which I didn't think about. Oh, okay. I wasn't thinking like that at all. Yeah, I wasn't thinking like that either. Didn't she, didn't she give him the choice? You know, but like in Alex's head, like how okay. he would feel if uh, Henry was gone. And I always say, like, what if it was the reverse? What if it was like him taking her brother or her sister? People probably wouldn't when I think that was okay. So that's a good point. But again, I'm an emotional reader. So I just like the book, but it had flaws. She did say though, she's like, oh, he's going to figure it out really quickly. What mm -hmm. happened. So he's pretty. I, maybe she should have left a note. That would have made more sense if she left a note just to like make Indeed. sure that he was okay. Because they had yeah. to like look for him first to realize that he was taken. Right. And I was like, wouldn't he have like, what if he ran away? Like that's plausible. Yeah. So yes. I don't know. I did feel bad that he was okay. getting beaten at his school, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tori says the book was too wordy. I feel like older historicals, that's different than like older historicals, the new ones, is that they're very, like, poetic, like, very descriptive versus, like, historicals are more modern. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I know you guys are going to read Lorcan Sale soon, right? She's yeah. very wordy. Oh, is she? Also, compared to like Kathleen Woodowitz, this was not wordy. So <laughs> I appreciated this one because it's not as wordy as other old ones are. But it could have been compared to like yeah. modern. The only thing I didn't like was, um, dang, what's his name? Derek's nickname for Lily. I thought that was a slur. Wasn't it taken out of one of her previous books, My Till Midnight? Why did he yeah. call him that? I'm not was even it? sure. Because she's not. What? Yeah. Well, she has traveled across Europe oh. during her time away uh, after she was jilted. That makes sense what you call her. I always thought I had been a slur and it was taken out of her book, Mind Till Midnight. So yeah. I wonder if we took it off of this book when they did the reprinting. Oh. I, I was wondering. Um, I checked, actually. I think they kept it because I have this one, which is the newest edition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they do keep the word. Oh, that's disappointing. If they took, it out, if they took it out of the audio, because I know yeah. they've been doing her audiobooks, and that's what I did with Mind Till Midnight, and they didn't have it in there. Yeah, it's coming out this year, so. Let's see. Oh, the audio for it? Mm hmm. That was the only thing I didn't like, but other than that, it was a great book. Oh, yeah, Tori says it's in there. Oh, okay. But that makes sense that he called her that because she traveled a lot. Maybe in the 90s it wasn't considered as well. I mean, it's always considered a slur. I think it was more people said it more in the 90s. Yeah. Did you notice anything different from this book than Lisa's uh, current books? Yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. It's been a long time since I read a Lisa Claypo's novel. Like I think I read uh, that series back in February. The Ravenels. Yeah. No, Love in the Afternoon. Mind till Mind. No, not Mind till Mind. That well, one. Hathaway's that series. Yeah. yeah. Mind till Mind is so good. My favorite. That's my favorite. I, I don't think I read that one. My yeah, Dominion the first one was Catherine. That book one. Is it? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. my God. These titles <laughs> everywhere. I think you give it, like, a three star. Yeah. Well, given that I read her movie. newest book and I loved it. You finished <laughs> oh, the new one? I finished one. it in, like, a day, man. It was so well, good. Well, Jessen finished it, too, and she said it was amazing. I loved mm -hmm. it. You're going to love the hero. I haven't read the Ravenel series yet, so I need to catch up. I I'm think like, the Ravenels is really cute. I love Devil in Spring because, well, not because, but just a bonus thing. There's a little chapter with Evie and Sebastian in that book. My laptop's going to die. Give me one second. Let me get the charger. You have to read that series in order. Ravenels? Yeah. 
Mm, I would read Devil in the Spring and Devil's Daughter, at least. All the devils. Okay. Because they're Evie and Sebastian's kids. Okay. What did you guys think of Derek in this book? Yeah, he is supposed to be an a-hole. <laughs> I didn't think it was that mean. Yeah, he wasn't, like, terrible. I didn't... Yeah. I disliked Alex more than Derek. What did you think of the whole uh, bet thing? Because Derek just let it happen. And then she got mad. She was like, you just let that happen. But I was like, you're the one who said yes. So I don't know what <laughs> you wanted to happen. Right. I mean, he did, like, when she was out of the room, he was all protective. Well, kind mm -hmm. of. But just looking after her in his own way. Maybe he, like, knew that Alex was not going to harm her in any way. Yeah, what did we expect, though? Like, she tied right. him to the head. Like, obviously he was going to retaliate in some way. And he said that, like, if she reneged, that she would just be banned from everything. The only thing I didn't get is, like, why didn't Derek give her the money? I know he said he didn't want to ruin their friendship, but, like, she was basically willing to sell her body. Like, what kind of friend are you? That's not the <laughs> like, I'm not gonna give you money because I don't want to be mad. You don't pay me back, so you can go sell your body. Like, what? Yeah, that was weird. I, do, I don't know if there's more to it because, like, he grew up really poor, right? And so I don't know. If he grew he up literally well. like in the gutters, and he was. In the, it was the things that, that was, like could have happened to Nicole happened yes. to him. Yes, <laughs> that broke so, my heart. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he is like one of. Lisa's most tortured heroes. So I wasn't sure if there was like more to it that he like knows what money can do to people because he's been on that side. I don't know. Oh yeah, is Lily in Dreaming of Real? I don't remember if she showed up that much. I don't think she does all that much. I mean, she has her family now. Yeah. Yeah, and he didn't even say, like, we're not going to be as great of friends at the end. Yeah, I mean, they did separate kind of throughout this um, this book. Which is sad. They were such good yeah. friends. But... Don't worry, Sarah. Sarah will make up for it. Okay. <laughs> she literally shoots someone to save him in the beginning of the book. It's great. Um, I think what in this book sad because he said like he really did like Lily and like as more than a friend, but that he could never be enough for her. What was interesting, what I thought was cool about Alex was that like he was totally okay. Like she was like, I'm never having kids, and he's like, okay. But usually for historicals, it's all about like having an heir. So I was really shocked. That he, yeah. took it. he he mentioned that. Um, he had Henry. That's why he was like, oh, "It just passed down to Henry." <laughs> this is a good okay. point. Um, he had already spent a lot of money trying to get to help find her daughter. That's true. Okay. Oh, she be friends, Kara. Yeah, I feel like they would be good friends. I was surprised that this is only two books. Who's Nathan? Yeah. A duet. I don't remember Nathan. Who's Nathan? Nathan. Is he in the next book? I don't remember. Was that his cousin? No, that was Ross. I was going to say, I really didn't like how Ross is like, well, I'm going to have her next. And I'm like... Yeah, I mean, I think he's kind of joking, but also kind of not. not vibe <laughs> multiple times. The vibe I got was he was saying that in a way to like make Alex angry, yeah. to, like admit that he actually likes her. But at the he same time, like if she would have agreed, he definitely would have been on that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because sure. he says it though at the end when like he's like, "Well, I just saw her with this other guy when like the her ex came back," and he's like, "Told you I'd have her next," and I'm like. <laughs> I'm not, I don't like you. But see, that's why I'm like, Alex really wasn't that because when he caught them in that like embrace, he 
Okay, he did call her a whore, but he at least listened to her explanation. Like, he didn't do that dramatic yeah. storm out. I, I was happy about that. that. Yeah. Like, he at least oh, waited yeah. for some type of explanation instead of just jumping to conclusions. Yeah. But Nathan is Alex's friend um, at the end. That's what Justin said. The guy who helps oh, out. Yes, yes, yes. Some chief ma how do you pronounce that? Chief mag magistrate? What is that? How do you pronounce that? Mm -hmm. Lord Chief Justice. That's what he was. Hmm. Was anybody annoyed that she just wouldn't tell Alex about Nicole? Because yeah. usually that annoys me, but it annoyed me too much. Yeah, it really annoyed me. I mean, he was willing to give her the money. He was willing to give her, like, whatever she wanted. Like, she might as well have just come clean. But maybe he, she was afraid that he was going to leave her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, or judge her more. Because mm -hmm. it's quite scandalous during that time to have a daughter. Out of mm -hmm. But, like, we knew he loved her. And it's like, he's obviously, like, head over heels for you. Just tell him. But she did say multiple times, he's definitely going to divorce me when he figures that I have a daughter. So, yeah. No, I saw that as amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what. It went circles. in circles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to lower my rating after this. <laughs> No, I didn't, no mind, I didn't mind it. It didn't bother me as much as it normally does in books because normally I'm just like, just talk to each other already. But I understood because she'd already been burned twice by a man her one fiance who dumped her, and then the Italian guy who stole her daughter. Yeah, I think I read it like as don't think too much, don't think too much about it, just keep reading. <laughs> <laughs> I trusted the process. Mm -hmm. I agree. But it was so satisfying. It was such a satisfying epilogue. So that that made it up. I think I think back in the olden days, like olden days, like back in the early nineties, like for historical romance, like you had to get you had to get the whole halfly ever after with the whole marriage and the baby, or else it's not considered like a good ending. And I think like back then, like younger me really liked that and ate it up. But nowadays, I'm like, okay, I don't even notice that they didn't get married or had a baby. But it was like the whole package. Right. Yeah, but it's I, common I, for historicals anyway. Yeah, they always have get married and have babies at the end. It's just, it's what we expect. Yeah. I thought Zachary liked your plan. I mean, I guess he didn't like it as it was going on, but like, <laughs> happy to Like the, the kiss that she... Oh my gosh. Voiced it on him. And then Alex is like, well, it was obvious it wasn't real because <laughs> yeah. that were <was> me. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was funny. But yeah, he kind of was like just dragged along by her. But that's the kind of person. But that's, yeah, that's his personality too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And then, and then <laughs> this is, she was like, he slept on the chair. Alex would definitely not sleep on the chair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I did feel bad for him because, like, he was obviously in love with Penelope. Penelope? Penny? Right? Yeah. But he proposed mm -hmm. to Lily at one point, so he sort of liked her in some retrospect. Or maybe he just felt bad for her. I think it was more like, we're friends and I want to help you. Right. right. Wasn't it right after she was... She was jilted, jilted yeah. By her former fiancé. Yeah. yeah. Which is funny because I could not imagine her being... Like someone who pretends to be dumb because she's, they said that's what she did for her fiance. Mm -hmm. She pretended to be an airhead. And I was like, Lily did that? What? <laughs> I could never see her doing that. But I guess like she changed because of that. Yeah. Maybe because her parents were so strict. She was just trying to like be what they expected her to be. And then after she got but dumped, the, the she dad was, was indifferent, which was mm -hmm. really sad. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Usually we don't get indifferent fathers. They're either bad or they're good. So the mom mm -hmm. was interesting because, like, wasn't her name like Toddy or something? Yeah. Yeah. He called her Toddy. I thought that was weird. Right. He did call her by her, her first name. That was pretty informal. I didn't even think of that. I didn't even think of that. You oh, know what's yeah. really similar to this one? Have you guys read A Beastly Kind of Earl by Mia Vinci? I don't know if you guys have. Is that um, the yellow cover? 
Yes, 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 yes. It's kind of- I think I have. It's super similar. So like our main character is kind of like Lily where she's like the black sheep of the family. I can't remember her name, I'm sorry. Um, and sh her sister is supposed to get married to this Earl, but her sister doesn't want to because she's in love with someone else. So she uh, pretends to be her sister because the Earl had never met her. So she pretends to be her sister and like tricks him. But the reason she's like outcast from society is because these boys like ruined her or spread a bunch of lies about her. So she's basically just like using his money to um, print like a story of what actually happened. And then the Earl knows that he's lying, that she's lying to him, but he just wants to get married so he can get his inheritance. It's a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but it's really similar to this book. That sounds good. I feel like I, I think Jen from the book refuge might've done a video um, on like, I was supposed to marry someone else or like I was supposed to marry a sibling and I married you instead. And I feel like that's a popular historical romance. Didn't, um, yeah, there's a Eloisa oh, James one, my American Duchess. She's supposed to marry the oh, brother. Yeah. I mean, that's basically Anthony's book in the Bridgerton series as well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, but is, that, is there a Tessa Dare one where, like, she's a, and like the brother's supposed to help her plan the wedding and then they fall in love? Is that Tessa Dare? I think so. And like, she has a white dress. Yeah. The Scott, was it the Scottish one? I don't know. I don't remember. No. One. She has a white dress on the cover. And he's supposed, she's supposed to marry his, her, his younger brother. And like, he's basically planning the wedding for her. She, like put it off for like 10 years and she's super embarrassed. So she like storms to his apartment. And she's like, you're going to plan this wedding for me. Yes. Yes. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Is that that Spindle yeah. Cove or oh, is it? ever after? I don't remember. It's one of those series though. Mm -hmm. It's not Spindle Cove. I'm going to pull it up. Because it's, it, I only know she has a white dress on the cover. This one's true too. They wanted her to be married to sister. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many with that. Say yes. <laughs> Say yes to the Mark oh, do you want to start a scandal? Oh, yes, yes. You're right, Lisa. It is Tessa Dare. Okay. It's I mean, no, we always Tessa knew it was Tessa Dare. Oh, that's the one in both, right? Isn't that the one that's in both series? No. That one, uh, the one that Tori said, do you want to start a scandal? Oh, this one's in both series? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is Say Yes to the Marquess in... The castles, castles ever, ever after. Okay. Castles ever after. There is an Instagram post that breaks down all of Tessa Dare series. I can't remember who posted it. By the book, I think it's no, 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 but not her. Never no, mind. I can't remember. I think this is interesting. Where nothing ever happened with the boarding school. Yeah, because like obvious, he saved his brother, but then that's gonna continue to happen to a bunch of other kids. So I'm surprised he didn't use like his influence to switch the headmaster or do yeah. something. That was kind of messed up. Yeah. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> <Kill him. laughs> Murder. I'm surprised he didn't do worse to him because he yeah. was really beating his brother. And he even said it was like you're getting like like a pervert like kind of right? you yeah. like beating young boys like that's wrong and i don't think he scared him enough because he's like well he's gone so like what's mm -hmm. the headmaster now his brother's not there but his brother like blew up his house so maybe that was his birth <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah but i'm like did the brother not have any friends at school it, it didn't seem like he did which is hard to believe because he was so outgoing and so friendly but maybe he was just scared and I agree with this. I think um, I loved how her parents like welcomed her back with open arms. But then I'm like, then why was she estranged in the first place? Literally, she showed up and they're like, hey, Lily, you're here. Yay. Like, we haven't seen you in forever. And I was like, hasn't she not spoken to you in a long time? I don't know. They didn't they were know just about, scared. They, were just they didn't like, know about Nicole, though. They didn't know she had a wow. child. So why was she banned or estranged from the family? Because her fiance yeah. left her? She was acting really wild, you know, mm -hmm. hanging around Derek and gambling and everything. Like her choice or was it her parents' choice to estrange her? Um, Cause like, I feel maybe like- Maybe a little bit of both. Silly. So I agree, I would have liked more of the fallout. 
I do have to read Catherine. Fulmer. Are we reading one of her books later? I don't know. Let me check. I don't remember which one. I don't think we've chosen one of hers yet. I don't think we did. I want to. Um, Catherine. You Catherine no, we didn't pick one of her books. Okay, we probably will at some point. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what a start <laughs> to the book. <laughs> And she just like launches herself off of the yacht of like the into the Thames, like the most disgusting place. Well, <laughs> so bad when I got yeah. out. Like, well, you're the one who jumped in the water after your hat that she threw in purposely to make a scene. Mm -hmm. Like, did it actually fly off her head? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a good point. Oh, that yeah. So that's why I think it's kind of both, just because mm -hmm. Lily wants to separate herself a bit. From the family to protect them. Yeah. I do like it when the romance is like, I have to get married so that my siblings have a better chance of getting married. Mm -hmm. I think that's cute. Daphne from Bridgerton, basically. Mm hmm. And I feel like they always like marry up. But I liked how his money was like not even anything she was thinking of when she married him. Yeah. I mean, he had a ton of money. He was just betting 10000 and then raised it to 15000 <laughs> Like, it was nothing. That was a lot of money back then and a lot of money mm -hmm. right now. But that was, like, a lot. Yeah. That was, like, someone's fortune back then. <laughs> what was his title again? He's an what Earl. An Earl. Okay. And I loved how he actually had a job. He's like, I do everything myself. So we saw him working and how much he had. He's like, yeah, I could probably let someone else do it. But I, like like to be consumed by work and i was like we finally have a rich man in a historical romance who actually works on page because we never see that yeah no i didn't hear it yeah i don't know yeah, It'd be the first thing i would think of wedding. that's sad had they planned their wedding yet i, I think they, they were, were planning it. they were planning it because then she was mm -hmm. like trying that's to why they were at his place mm-hmm People will go and stay with each other a lot in historical romances. For a long time, too. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of rooms. Like castle. Mm -hmm. so. yeah. yeah. Yeah, he had a whole mansion in London. He was so rich. My favorite hour is Goldman Hour. Goldman Sachs, Goldman Hour. This is my favorite hour. Thank you. Okay. All right, I don't get it. Whatever. It's the financial district. You just go it works Goldman better Sachs. as a photo, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys pick your next book yet? Yeah, we're reading an Elizabeth Lowell book. I have the boring cover. Oh, I, think I do I'm, have that one. I don't know. What's it about? Untamed by Elizabeth Lau. It's a medieval time. But it's I never know what they're about when we pick them. <laughs> yeah. You just well, you pick them up good out reading. so in advance that you just yeah. forget. Yeah. It's a Scottish reading that takes place during the medieval times. That's all I know. I've only read one of her contemporaries. Oh, she writes contemporary? I didn't know that. I haven't mm -hmm. read any. Well, I think we talked about this in our last um, live. A lot of old historical romance authors only write contemporary now. Yeah, they switched a lot to romantic suspense. Like, yes. Especially. Because doesn't she write romantic suspense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Her, um, Julie Garwood, before she stopped. Um, Kat Martin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I had, like, a, I made a whole list for myself just to be, like, Maybe someday I'll do that video. Mm. I don't know if I would like their romantic suspenses now of how they are. Because I'm picking I like Julie Garwood's her last <laughs> book before she stopped everything. Mm -hmm. Wait, Julie Garwood really stopped good? writing? Yeah, she did. Why? Too old? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wait, that didn't, I don't know. They didn't make it not trying to make it insensitive but she she like put a cap on it like she said it out loud like she's not gonna um, write she more does plan to write more um and a historical i think but 
I don't know if it, there's actually like a problem going on because I know some authors have medical problems. Buy a bank. Yeah. Aww. Um, Teresa. Ooh, what happened to Maya? Oh, she's had some a lot intense. of health problems. Yeah. Yeah. So her one book has been pushed back like eight years. Oh my gosh. Her Highlander <laughs> book that I've been waiting yeah. almost a decade for. Yep. yep. <laughs> There's a they switched they switch publishers too. It yeah. was originally with Berkeley. Yeah. That's so sad. We talked about that in the Judith McNaught live show too, that she disappeared as well. Mm -hmm. Like she hasn't wrote a book in forever. My veins. Problems. Yeah, because then her other, like, doesn't she have another KGI book yeah. that hasn't come out yet? But Read Romance, she had a whole story about authors and her Instagram stories about authors who stopped writing. And you're like, when's your next book coming out? But it's like, we care about your health, but it's like, it's been so long. Yeah. I mean, that's the same with Mia Vinci. She did one series. It was just three books and then she stopped. Like there was nothing afterwards. And I was like, why? Wait, really? I thought yeah, she, she was It's just that one more. series with a yellow cover. That's it. Uh, did you finish the series? No. <laughs> <laughs> I only liked book one. I mean, technically it's like book two or three, but she published it first. I don't know why she cho chose to do that. Yeah. But she wrote I'm, the series entirely out of order. Yeah, and Goodreads, it shows that the first book was published after the second and third book, which makes no mm -hmm. sense, but it is what it is. I think, like, Celise Bradley took a break, too. Like, not really many new books from her. And also, this author called Olivia Parker, she only read, she only wrote three books, and I love Olivia Parker, so I'm savoring it. Yeah. So sad. Crescent I don't want to let it go. Too. I've been dying for Cresley Cole. But she also has some health problems. No, it's so sad. Oh, and I forgot. She, Lisa Kleypas, so like her lovely author information, um, was Miss Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's yeah. gorgeous. She's a gorgeous woman. Oh my <laughs> she's gosh. So yeah. She's so pretty. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> she had like one that was like kind of like a full body shot or like, and I was like, "Ooh, girl, you got you got it going on." And I was like, "Ooh, she's so beautiful." Yeah, and she published her first book. I think I t I talked about it in the in my Lisa Clavis video. She published at twenty, which is crazy. She's I just thought. so successful. Yeah. I'm waiting for her to buy a degree in the eighties. Were there that many twenty year olds publishing? Right. Even now, yeah. there's like really young. I mean, there's not really that many young authors. Mm -hmm. I feel like, like there's a lot of young, yeah. young adult authors. Young adult, yeah. yeah. Maybe like not Chloe in Gong. traditionally published. Well, Chloe Gong is uh, romance. romance. Or she just graduated, Chloe right? Gong. Yeah, she just graduated. Yeah. And then. She came for her tuition one way. <laughs> yeah. Right. With deals. Like, you're wheels. so young. Mm hmm. But then there's a lot of authors who don't get their first book deal until like their 30s or 40s. Yeah. So. Yeah. Like Lee Bardugo, right? She started writing in her 30s. Now right? she rich. Now she rich, rich. <laughs> but she wasn't before. Yeah, yeah, she wasn't before. She held out though. Now she rich, rich. But now you can like indie publish yourself and you can, be, you right. can become rich, rich. Mm -hmm. Yeah. LJ Shen. <laughs> <laughs> she's uh, millions yeah millions oh if anybody wants to there's a lot of lisa claypass novels oh my god my screen's so bright but right now the bidding price is 30 dollars usd it comes with then came you our edition so go ahead go bid <laughs> do it up yeah, I that one, was, it was before the whole eBay craze. I found that copy of, of Jess's for a dollar. <laughs> this was free for me. Thank you, Lacey. I feel like we are instigators in some points. Like we hype we it up. Anybody, we, yeah, we played ourselves. <laughs> I think I think it started with Jess with her history, like mystery historical romance book box thing that like made what that eBay it? store like kind of like blew up and was like, ah, oh, we can't do this anymore. <laughs> like but I did it because of Samantha. Oh, okay. 
I had like 200 subscribers and then Jess did that video and I got literally got like 800 subscribers <laughs> just from that video. <laughs> like that video has so it. many views. Oh my gosh. And I was like, it's just an eBay lot, but okay. Uh, but I noticed like people like looking at like eBay mystery videos, no matter like what it is. Yeah. So. But you can find them in any genre, not just historical romance. Yeah. Now, because of you guys, everything is so expensive because now people know about the ebay a lot i know i feel like like i might have started the ebay thing i was yeah. looking for lisa clayfist books and joanna Lindsay books um originally from like better world books or like those established used bookstores and then i was like wait i don't see anyone doing ebay stuff so let me go check it out and then I found so many, and then everyone else also found so many. It's all fault. I it was. <laughs> you, I, I, remember, I remember. I thought eBay was like Craigslist, where it was like not that reliable. Like it was. Fraud. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah, well, maybe because I work in fraud, that I was always thought like, no, these books are fake. They're not real. And <laughs> <laughs> I your message, Lacey, and was like, how do you do this thing? <laughs> but eBay, but eBay has really good protection. Like if like things yeah. don't go right, they'll yeah. give you a refund. So like you feel yeah, more safe know. with them. But mm -hmm. I did have fear of missing out FOMO when like Jess and Lacey started buying like a lot of books. And I was like, oh, do I really need these old vintage covers though? Thousands and thousands of dollars later. <laughs> I did. You. Yeah. What? Yeah, You're it kills shipping. me inside. <laughs> I stopped yeah, buying, I, though. I buy eBay because it's cheap, but for you, Lisa, it's not that cheap. It's almost like a full price. <laughs> That's what I There's... tell her. I'm like, you could get it from Amazon for a dollar or two more in pristine edition. No, 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 no. That's weird. I mean, like, <laughs> no, they're like $9 because they sell it from, like, thrift books and, like, Better World books and things like that. So it's like $9 each. But there's a, I always forget her username, but you know the historical romance uh, reader on Instagram? May? That started Step Back Saturday. Books and Boops. Oh, Lindsay. Oh. Pink Cow. Lindsay. Oh. Yeah, she's from Canada too. And she and I feel the pain. Like we both buy gigantic lots and like they're hella expensive. And she like totally agrees with me that like it's okay to spend $60 on a lot. Yeah. I think so. Oh, go ahead. Okay. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I hope like Joanna shows a new cover. Authors start bringing back just the lavish clinch covers. Mm -hmm. yeah. Her new book is so pretty. I love it. Bring My it. golden now, life back. used to be to buy a house and like all these adult things, but now I want to be on a star <laughs> <laughs> one. Just one cover. I mean, you're oh, on your way. I feel like you're taking all these pictures of yourself. I'm like, hit me up if y'all know some authors. I want to be honest. I want to be romanced by Fabio. Okay, 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 okay. At one point when I was young, like in 2015, which is not that young, but whatever, I used to, not used to, I still read Harlequin, but I was like hella like invested in Harlequin to the point that I stalked like the covers like in the cover models and wondered like how to be on a harlequin cover and i'll never be on a cover because i don't have the body shape for it and plus like there's not that much asian characters anyways but like they're all based in toronto and like the sets are in toronto too so it is possible to be a model on a harlequin cover if you're in toronto and if you're through like a model agency also as well yeah did you guys see justin's oh, cover yeah <laughs> I don't know the book though. I feel like I, I should, know. but I don't. He drew his uh, step back today. Yeah. I love that. He's he so created talented. his own step back of a contemporary book that I don't know. Mm -mm. But I do think eBay sellers are taking advantage of us because now everything's really expensive. Yes. I haven't bought an eBay lot in a long time. But that's because my bookstore is so cheap. It's only a dollar for historicals. So I feel you like... You cleared out your bookstore. <laughs> I did. I did. I gave it a break. I have to go back. Just take a drive on my side of town, Lacey, and I'll show you the bookstore. I know. I really need to. Yeah, you guys are fully vaccinated. Go ahead. Do it. <laughs> He's been planning it all out.
Oh, Birthday Girl by Penelope Ducks. Oh. oh. The pink, though? I don't remember that. I just read that book. Whenever a book is super hyped up, I always put it off, but that book was phenomenal. I'm such a brat. Whenever someone is like, oh, this book is so good, it's five stars. In my head, I'm like, was it really that good? Was it really that good? Me too. I have a friend that's not on booktube or in the book community. She just reads whatever I suggest to her and she sometimes finds like books herself. And she was telling me about this book and how hot it was and how steam it was. And I was like, what is it called? And she's like, birthday girl. And I'm like, all right, <laughs> exit chat. <laughs> not joking. Probably I was like a yeah. TikTok thing. I was gonna say, that's how TikTok is. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, yes, we've been reading these for six years already, but thank you for finally discovering these books. <laughs> so savage. <laughs> It's just so annoying. Um, it's I don't know. And then everyone's like TikTok selling books. I was like, yeah, they're selling old books that sold five years ago. I got an ad today from like Chapters Indigo, which is Canada's bookstore, and it was like books that are popular on TikTok, and like all the books yeah, are. Barnes and Noble has a whole stand for that. Like, are you in their for physical real? store? Yeah. yeah. We and were the liars. They both die at the end, and it's just yeah. Yeah, I get annoyed too. <laughs> and then my friend who works at HarperCollins as a publicist, like she was telling me how like randomly one day Adam Severa's book, It We All Die at the End, um, blew up on Canada's like best sellers list because of Book Talk. And then he, she was just like, What? Like we were trying to sell you that book like years ago when it was coming in. But oh well, more money for us, like was like what she said to me. And I was like dying. But yeah. Oh, yeah. Pinterest boards for her books. Oh, I love her. Oh, Pinterest or when they have like a playlist, like a music playlist that goes. Yeah, she always has those. I never look at those. Yeah, I used to stalk her too. <laughs> her Pinterest stuff. Um, back in like the early Devil's Night era, yeah. I guess. I feel like I, I've only read... No, I only read two books from her. Credence or Crescidence, whatever it's called. And Credence, then yeah. yeah. I just feel like with popular authors, I I only started reading again like two years ago. So if it's a book that everyone has already read, I'm like, do I need to read it? Like everyone's already talked about it. That's true. But they're still good books. That's true. <laughs> yes. I think this is interesting. I wonder if it's because of Katie's TikTok or because of other TikToks. Because I know mm -hmm. Katie probably on TikTok. Katie Roberts is just awesome. I love her. I'm tempted to do her Patreon because it's you get all of her paperbacks. I know. Yeah, I'm so jealous. She's one of the authors that I'm tempted by. Her yeah. and Mia Knight. But I'm like, oh gosh, money. <laughs> I'll get a sugar daddy and just be a part of her Patreon. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, we have a plan, so. Yo. Yo. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not appropriate for Chris's channel. I'm sorry. I know, that's like appropriate for my channel. <laughs> I'm like, don't pay me in anything else. Just buy me Katie Roberts' Patreon. <laughs> Ooh, Mariana. Okay. Cool tea. That was the first book that I read. And it's still my favorite. I love it so much. My first buyer, I think, was uh, Winnipeg, which is so good. But from Luke Off with mm -hmm. Love, I think one of my mine favorites. was Dear Aaron. Was it? Oh, that's what that's supposed to call. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn that that baby was thick. Her books were thick. Sometimes <laughs> were thick. unnecessarily so. Pardon? Sometimes unnecessarily so. Oh yeah, no, for me, like a hundred percent all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Cold tea to someone on Instagram. All right. Well, we are reaching an hour, so we can wind down. Any final thoughts? No, I love the book. Have you guys um, been reading? Yeah, I should read Dreaming, Dreaming of You. I want to. Have oh, you guys wow. been reading Historical been reading Romance? What? Oh. Historical Romance? Not lately, unfortunately. Yeah. We should do a read on soon. Yeah, I was actually thinking about that too. Just take a turn. Slide into our group chat. Yes. 
No, we do need another readathon, you guys. That was my favorite readathons. That's how I started reading historical romance. Was your readathon? Yeah, and then it you makes got me so happy when people say. And that. now look at your bookshelf. I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, but then she got influenced to read cozy mysteries from Spencer. I think, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Spencer. And then now you're like hella, hella into it. Nice. I'm, I'm, an, nice. I'm very easily influenced, okay? People just tell me what to read, and I'm very easily influenced. Easily swayed. As long as it's not, like, super hyped books that everybody raves about, then you'll read it. Like, yeah. the genre. <laughs> the genre. genre. I mean, I did get Samantha to read Lisa Clayfus, so. Yes, yes. You got me you to sold read her. You made her go into hell <laughs> <laughs> by buying all the books and spending $40 on a rare edition. Uh, that's the most I've spent on anything on a uh, book wise. I'm still sad about it. Oh. If you find another copy, you can sell it for higher. <laughs> no, I would never. Business. I would feel so bad. I would feel so bad. No, buy low, sell high. <laughs> Stocks. <laughs> Making a whole freaking business that's out of it. That's what I would do, but nobody would do it here because, like, Canada shipping, hella expensive. I tried listing some, like, old books that I didn't want anymore on eBay, but nobody wanted them because the shipping was, like, an arm, so. You don't no, have media mail? Pardon? Do you have media mail? No. Oh, okay. It's just an arm. You just straight up, like, whatever the number the person thinks in their head, they're like, yep, that's the number you have to pay for shipping. <laughs> They like they use the measuring tape, they put it on the little scale, and they go like thirty dollars. Take it or leave it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, our Instagram for the book club is in the description box. That's where we have all of our announcements. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you to Lacey and Lisa for joining us. Um, our Ravish by Romance live show is next week for mm -hmm. Ackroyd, which is a giant book, and I haven't started it yet, but that's okay. Yeah, if you're feeling um, mafia, dark romance, come join us. I forgot it's long, so thank you, Jess. I yeah, need to start that early. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what, 500 pages? More than 500? I don't know. It's a long <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> but I'm glad you liked mostly. Nobody gave it less than three, so that's that's good. Yeah. So. We redeemed ourselves. We redeemed yeah. This was an easy win, though. It was I a mean, of low course. Yeah. Uh, low hanging <laughs> fruit. For this one yeah cool. all right well thank you and i will see you you guys later bye, bye. bye.